Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So all we have is a little bit of information. We have six books. It's $45 for the total of the six books. And each book costs the same amount. So we've got equal groups. This should be giving you all kinds of clues when you see that we've got equal groups. We've got the same amount. But what can we do to find the relationship between the number of books and then show that in a table? Well. Let's see if we could draw a picture here, a little strip diagram. So let's say I've got my six books here. Pretend this is like a bookshelf. Right, those are my six books. And then I've got the total of my six books right here, and it's $45. So each book costs the same amount. Another way to think of it would be a proportion. Right, so let's say six books costs $45. So one book, that's really what we're looking for. What's the base price or the unit price equals our unknown number. Either way, we need to divide because this is going to be a multiplicative relationship. So if we wanted to, we could just take this right here, this top example here, and we can just say, well, I've got my 45, and I need to divide it by 6. Or we can use cross multiplication here. And we can say 6 times my x, that's my mystery number, is equal to 45 times 1, which is just 45. So guess what? 6x equals 45. How do you isolate the variable? You divide by 6. So either way you represent it, we're going to need to divide by 6 to see what our base price is. That should show up probably because, look, each of these has a 1 in the very first column, which means we're needing to find at least the base price. So 6 goes into 45. It's not going to go evenly. That's going to be 7. It's 42. So we're not going to do a mixed number. We're not going to do remainders. We don't really do remainders in 6th grade. So let's just add a decimal. If we add a decimal, we can add as many zeros as necessary to get this complete. And this is all we need to do. 7.5, because that's going to be 30. So it looks like it's $7.50 for each one. So if you want, you could do 7.5 in each of these. If you want to double check your work, you could do 7.5 times 6. But guess what that's going to give you? That's going to get you 45. So 7.5, let's go ahead and add a zero there so it looks correct, $7.50. Now. We've got B and D, which have got the 8.5, so they just did the math wrong. So we're going to cross those off. Those aren't going to be any good. So we're stuck between A and C, and you notice we've got the same numbers, just flipped. They're completely flipped. So we've got 7.5 right here. And obviously, if you take a look at what I did right here, I went ahead and put the answer in right here because we're trying to figure out how much does it cost per book. A says it's seven fifty in cost in dollars. They just took the dollar sign off. Whereas C says 7.5 books for $1. Look at these labels. That's going to give you our answer. Uh, we are not looking at the number of books, 7.5 books. We're looking at one book for $7.5. And so our answer is going to be A.